It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We're out in the bar. We got a beer today from Seven Brothers Brewing Company, and this is their Honeycomb Pale Ale, coming in a four percent ABV, four hundred and forty milliliter can. Uh, this beer is brand new into Asda, and as soon as I posted the unboxing video of the, of, of the beers that we picked up from Asda, lots of you were commenting saying. I enjoy the, the honeycomb beer. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I think this might be the first beer that I've had from Seven Brothers Brewing Company. I'm sure this brewery with a brewery behind the, like Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Cornflakes beer or Cocoa Pops beer or something, something along, along them lines. They basically used a load of old cornflakes that nobody wanted anymore. They recycled them into a beer, which is pretty good in this, in this, uh, with the world we're living in at the moment, you know? All this sustainability stuff going on. Uh, gonna be honest though, looking at the beer we've got in, in, in the hand, uh, the heads dissipated very, very quickly. It's a little stream of carbonation rolling down the side of the glass. But that straight away doesn't look like the most appealing beer that I've ever had in my hand. This is not the type of beer that I want to start jumping around the the bar, you know, in excitement with. I don't know what to make of that, to be honest. It was three pounds a can in Asda, brand new beer launch. As of, where are we now? May 2021. Let's get the aroma on this, well, honeycomb looking, amber, no head, rather silky looking beer. Let's get the aroma. You definitely get the honey in there and you get quite a lot of biscuitiness as well it actually smells okay yeah, sweetness biscuitiness and a, and a kind of a sweet honey thing going on okay let's dive in cheers everybody There is a nice taste of honeycomb in there. There is definitely a nice taste of honeycomb. It's It's got a kind of a burnt bread, burnt toffee finish to it. Honeycomb with, with burnt bread and burnt toffee. It's quite nice, quite nice, but there's something in there that It's quite tinny. The start of the beer, it, it's quite tinny. It's quite flat. It reminds me of like, I don't know, something maybe Wells and Youngs would produce. And for some that might start ringing alarm bells. There was quite a bit of excitement with Asda, with people going to Asda, picking up these new beers, because Asda had been really slow off the mark, putting these three pound cans of beer into their supermarket shelves. And um, I'm not sure if this is the way to go. I'm not sure after drinking this first beer, and I've, I've heard 
quite a lot of comments on my unboxing video people saying the range is not really that great um the danger is then you're not going to rush off are you to to as that every time they launch a new range of beers if if the first range of beer is really not that good and this is I don't think it's worth three pound a can this one It's a bit farty. Now I've got all of the beer into the can. It's a bit farty. It's a bit... There's a touch of rotting cabbage in you. No, that's not worth... That's not worth £3 a can. No way. Um, that's a... Uh, at best, at best, you know, this is your four for six, four for six pound bottle beer in, in Asda. I think they, they're trying to pull the wool over people's eyes here. I think, and um, I mean, for the for the first beer from Seven Brothers, I'm I'm rather disappointed. I'm rather disappointed with this. Um, oh dear. Uh, meet our sweetest beer, a perfectly balanced pale ale with carefully selected hops infused with the essence of honeycomb, creating this extremely Moorish unique pale ale. And then Seven Brothers Brewing Beer, that's right, each of us look at things a little differently, but one thing we'll all agree on is brewing great tasting beer. Seven Brothers Brewing. Oh, this is... Uh, you know, it would be nice if they actually put the ingredients on the back of the can because um, they talk about the hops. There's no real... They're talking about balance. Balance and hoppiness. I mean, not really getting it at all. I picked this one up because it was the one of the most exciting out of the range that as that have launched into their supermarket but this is absolutely this is poor this is really really poor beer this is substandard beer that I would even be well maybe not but this is your four for six pound bottle range that as are trying to sell to you for three pound a can and it's really not worth it it's really not worth it this is not gonna pull me away from my local bottle shop pulling me into the arms of, of, of Asda's craft beer. I'd sooner jump in the car and drive to my bottle shop than jump in the car and pick one of those up. Um, poor showing. Poor, poor showing. Um, and I, I don't think it looks good on Seven Brothers Brewing Company either. Um, I understand the pressures, I understand where we are in terms of beer sales and, 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 and pub closures and, and everything like that, but um, still, you've got to produce something half decent, otherwise you're tarnishing your name, you're tarnishing your name with, with such a poor quality beer. That's no more than a 2 out of 10 for me, 2 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. No real sign of any hops in the beer. A nice, a nice burnt, bready, burnt, toffee flavour, a little bit of honeycomb, but it's the, it's the slight kind of sulphury kind of rotting cabbage flavour at the beginning, and the fact that the beer's been produced so cheaply, it's been produced really cheaply, that I don't, I don't like it, I don't like it. Um, 2 out of 10, thanks for watching, please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.